Hi, welcome to Cool Gadgets and Stuff. From mental tasks to physical labor, job automation fueled by artificial intelligence and technological advancements is poised to take over many of our current jobs. In this video, we are going to take a look at some robots being developed right now that might just take over your job one day, maybe even sooner than you think. We are going to start with the food service sector. Silicon Valley-based startup Bear Robotics has created Penny, a self-driving robot that runs food, delivers drinks, and buses empty plates between kitchen and tables. This small robot is designed to navigate in a restaurant's crowded, narrow spaces, using sensors to avoid any obstacles. Restaurant staff just programs in the map of the restaurant. Now when food is ready, a manager simply uses the app to call Penny to pick it up and take it to the designated table. When the meal is over, Penny will return for dirty dishes and bring the bill. The intention of the company behind Penny is to help staff during busy times and decrease labor intensity on employees. Penny is still in its trial phases, and engineers are still continuing to tweak the technology and solving any challenges. Next up is Flippy, a robotic arm that uses a combination of artificial intelligence, cameras, thermal scanners, and lasers to cook hamburgers and fry foods. Miso Robotics, the company behind Flippy, intends this robot for manual, repetitive tasks since it can work all day without breaks and be far more consistent with its work than a human. It can automate a wide range of tasks, from prep work to cooking to final assembly. Flippy enables restaurants to increase labor productivity and reduce costs, while improving food quality, consistency, and safety. Flippy can grill 150 burgers per hour and can run for up to 100,000 hours of continuous uptime. Flippy had its debut in early 2018 at Cali Burger Restaurant in California and is planned to expand to more Cali Burger restaurants by the end of 2019. Next is the construction sector. With the advent of 3D printing, the construction industry is about to change and one company is on the forefront. Apis Core is developing a 3D printer which can print houses and even entire buildings. The company says building homes with the bot is more efficient and less expensive than relying on humans. Footage you're seeing is from a pilot project for a municipal building in Dubai. One can print a building of any size just by moving it around. Apis Core is able to print the wall of a standard home in just two to three days, while traditional methods will take about a month to complete. Right now it can only print walls. Roofs, floors, foundation, electrical systems, and plumbing are done by traditional methods. It also makes it possible to reduce the used materials, tools, and waste during the construction process. Currently, it's suited for low-rise buildings and requires the control of an operator, but the plans are to develop it to enable printing of high-rise constructions as well as foundations, floors, and roofing. The first generation of this machine is set to be available for purchase sometime in 2020. Another company on the forefront of innovation and construction is Fast Brick Robotics. They developed Hadrian X, a commercial bricklaying robot that can build a house in just three days. Hadrian X is mounted into a truck to easily transport it to and from a location for on-site building. Blocks are loaded into the back, transported through a telescopic boom with a 30 meter or 100 foot reach, applied with adhesive and placed with precision according to the preset layout. The special adhesive used bonds in just 45 minutes and holds stronger than traditional mortar. The machine also features a dynamic stabilization technology which reacts to wind, vibration, and other environmental factors instantly, enabling precise positioning of objects. It's capable of laying about a thousand bricks per hour, about the output of two human bricklayers for a day, with no need for breaks. Hadrian X builds faster, more accurately, and with less construction waste, which should equate to savings for the builders and home buyers. The Hadrian X is not commercially available yet. Security is another area seeing automation. Security robots are becoming a more common sight in malls, offices, and public spaces, and are highly productive for repetitive and dangerous tasks. Intended as mobile surveillance devices, they patrol along a preset route or navigate autonomously in a designated area while scooping up data from facial scans to license plates. They can even call the police. 
data is stored and can later be gathered and analyzed. They are paired with a human specialist in a control room who can be alerted of any suspicious activity and can navigate and can even communicate through live audio. They can run 24 hours a day, have infrared cameras to see in the dark, and are in a way less conspicuous than humans performing similar surveillance duties. These robots aren't designed to use force against an intruder, but simply alert security personnel. Several companies are developing their own version, and you can expect to start seeing them more often. Next on the list are delivery robots. Ford Motor Company has partnered with Agility Robotics to create Digit Delivery Robot, a new research project that explores how robots and self-driving cars could work together to deliver groceries, food, and more. Digit would be bundled into the back of a self-driving car. When the car reaches its destination, the trunk pops open and Digit unfolds. The robot can then complete the last crucial step of the delivery, actually picking up the parcel and dropping it on your doorstep. Digit can lift 40 pounds or 18 kilos, ring the doorbell and go up and down stairs, and navigate complex environments. Digit is currently just a concept, but Ford is not alone in exploring this space. FedEx is developing their own delivery robot, Roxo, the FedEx Same Day Bot. This bot is designed to serve on-demand, last-mile delivery from nearby retailers or restaurants. After an order, the bot is at your house in no time. Roxo is battery powered, has a top speed of 10 miles per hour, and is autonomous, meaning it can steer itself around pedestrians and traffic using a combination of sensors like those found in self-driving cars. This bot is currently on trials. Lastly, we'll take a look at self-driving vehicles. More companies are trying to bring self-driving cars to the market than ever before. Self-driving vehicles are said to change our cities and way of life, and one company blazing the trail is Waymo. Waymo, formerly known as Google's self-driving car project, is a commercial self-driving car service and accompanying app. They first began testing its technology in 2009, and today are running the first completely autonomous car ride service to its beta users in Phoenix, Arizona. All you need is to open the app, enter destination, and Waymo will come pick you up. It will figure out the optimal route, navigate urban streets, manage complex intersections with traffic lights, stop signs, and roundabouts, and handle densely packed freeways with cars moving at high speed. This is possible thanks to an array of sensors, external cameras, and advanced AI software. Waymo plans to slowly expand their car service to more cities in the U.S. In 2018, Volvo debuted a new concept electric autonomous truck called Vera, which is built from the grounds up to be completely autonomous. There is no cab for the driver to sit in. It is controlled and monitored via control center and has the potential to make transportation safer, cleaner, and more efficient. Vera is designed for short, repetitive trips in logistic hubs, factories, ports, and so on. The thinking is that one day, fleets of connected Veras can scurry around ports, factories, and other facilities with large loads on their back, communicating with one another via a control center over the cloud. This could optimize traffic flow, keep operations running smoothly, and minimize waiting times. Because a driverless truck doesn't need to take breaks, it'd make enterprises that depend on trucking run more efficiently. Vera is still under development and trials are currently underway in Sweden. Easy Mile Autonomous Electric Shuttle Vehicle is a first and last mile vehicle programmed to run along a preset route or runs on demand via app. Designed to bridge the gap between existing transport hubs, it offers mobility in public or private areas such as airports, campuses, parks, and inner cities. It has a 25 mile per hour speed limit, can take up to 15 passengers, and can run for 16 hours straight before needing to recharge. It detects and avoids potential obstacles thanks to a full set of sensors. This vehicle is wheelchair friendly and already fully operational. First launched in 2015, it already has over 200 deployments in more than 25 countries.
This is it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it, and please tell us in the comments what do you think about job automation and the future of jobs. Do you see it affecting your job and economy overall? Do you think this will lead to more income inequality? Are you in favor of universal income? Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more interesting videos.